stretching or whatever they have you do in PT, stop doing that. You're only making it worse. You're only causing that vicious cycle. Oh no, not another massage gun video. Well, this one is about the neck and we've cracked the code on how to help y'all. Any massage gun will do, but we love our Ictaway guns. It's just built better. You can check out our review video through the link in the description box below and receive a special promo code for a discount. If you've seen our other massage gun videos, you know there's a method to the madness. We use different strokes to help the muscles facilitate or inhibit. Here's a quick overview before you follow along, but we've gone through this at length in our older mindful massage gun videos, so check those out. If you go towards the origin or shorten the muscle, it facilitates. And on the flip side, if you go away, it inhibits. So let's get to treating. All right, so we're gonna get our handy dandy massage gun. Hopefully it hasn't collected too much dust, but like I said before in other videos, it's, it's how you use it and which direction. If you want that neck to improve, and, and my neck's a little stiff today, uh, this side versus this side, so I'm feeling a little, little kink there uh, that I woke up with. We're gonna hopefully make some improvements there. So there's three muscles you wanna inhibit. You wanna get that pec, and then the pec minor and the upper trap. All right, so we're gonna turn this on. We're just gonna go with the flat head and the bullet head. And so we're gonna go right into it. Um, so we wanna go away, uh, like I said, so we're just gonna go right through here. And I'm gonna do you know, a number of strokes. And all of a sudden, it's usually if there's something because of the vibrating part, it gets a little bit easier. Like it's easy here, then it kind of gets a little bit more rough here. So we're just gonna keep going that direction. I'm gonna kind of hit it different direction. Like this way is a little tighter. And then until it starts freeing up. Yep. And you can go all the way to the shoulder because that's where it's attached. You wanna go right into here. You know, I always like it in the low setting. If you guys wanna crank it up, that's on your own free will, but I think it's good enough the way it is. So we can see how that starts helping. We wanna inhibit that pec minor and it goes this way. So it's that angle. And for some of you who want close up, we'll have that as well. Good, and then, so we're just inhibiting first. And then we're gonna get to that upper trap. and then we'll just see how that goes. Yep, so I can I feel like I got a little bit more range and, so, and the area that's kinked is a little bit more localized or smaller. Uh, so we're gonna start facilitating now. So now we wanna do the serratus muscles. You got serratus anterior, you got serratus uh, posterior, and you got the splenius capitis. Uh, and the levator scap usually gets weak and tight. That's why it feels tight and you always wanna stretch it. A lot of people are stretching it too much and then it gets in spasm. So we wanna strengthen, because it's a stabilizing, it's trying to stabilize that shoulder blade from moving. So that's why the levator is so important to actually strengthen and stabilize, not just keep stretching or whatever they have you do in PT. Stop doing that. You're only making it worse. You're only causing that vicious cycle to happen. Uh, and so we'll start that. So we're gonna get right into here. And I'm just, you know, I might wanna use the soft head for that one, this one, but the bullet head also should work. And then you can see I, I really can't get back there. You might need someone else to help you. And then, you know, the serratus that way. But I'm gonna show you the back badger next, what to do. So let's just go right to that. I'm gonna put this away. We've got our other gun. Now you can see basically how that's angled. I can just control it in a nice way here. I can control it these angles. So whatever you can do with the front, great. Then you just snap this puppy on and then do the ones in the back. So we're gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna turn this puppy on. And this is how it's gonna go. So we wanna, we wanna go from down to up. So you can just see that I just go down to up and I can take that all the way up to my neck it's just a lot easier. I'm not forcing it a whole lot. And if I want the levator, you're gonna go across that shoulder blade right there. So I'm just using leverage, right? 
a little lever, a little seesaw action. You want the rhomboids? Great. You're just working it from there, only one direction, and you can apply it that way. And that feels really good. You see how it just makes life a lot easier with uh, being able to crank that. So that's the back badger, and we'll link that below. So let's see how we did. All right, let's see if we cracked that code. So I can tell you I'm going much further. It actually feels like I'm much further than this side and then my shoulder range. So I'm stoked about that. I feel a lot better, a little bit less inflamed. And so we'll get some uh, close-ups uh, for you to check out. Let us know your thoughts on our video. Please leave us some love or questions in the comments box below. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.